Hey guys, so today's topic is uh, Ken's repertory. We will be discussing about the background of Ken's repertory, the philosophical background of Ken's repertory, and the brief plan and construction of Ken's repertory. So, um, basically, a uh, philosophical background of Ken starts with a uh, concept of individualization. Uh, the individualization through evaluation of symptoms from general to particulars uh, gradation of medicine and finally the cross reference and similars so mm -hmm. it's like you know it's Kent's repertory and we are trying to explain uh, about them uh, about the like repertory so to get the marks it's easy to like understand the concept of individualization where where we as a homeopath know that no person is same uh, everyone is different and for making this we have to understand a person we have to do totality and during this totality we keep a mental picture on the top mental symptoms on the top then there comes uh, individualization through evaluation of symptoms from general to particulars so it is very like you know understandable that uh, how you c could do this like you know the first there are uh, like for like when during this uh, totality of symptoms you have to understand that mental is always on the top mental uh, like symptoms are to be kept on the top then after that it will be um, physical generals uh, and then finally this uh, characteristic you know particulars are to be noted but you know just because particular symptoms are the, like on the last it doesn't mean that it isn't of much importance because many particular symptoms is a very strong point to you know catch on to in in mental symptoms you have to understand that will will of a person always comes first then the, this intellect come which is you know uh, will and understanding comes top and then this intellect which doesn't really you know is to be noted but you know not given much importance then there is this uh, gradation of medicine as we know uh, there are three grades in Kent uh, repertory first one is like you know uh, written in bold it's written in totally bold and second one is in italic and the third one is you know norm just normal uh, in a normal font so we have to understand that the first grade medicine is like totally proof you know it it was the symptoms of that medicine has been shown again and again and it is like totally proved but the, the second grade medicine is like not really you know it can be it is proved but it is not like you know symptoms can go on and off and then there is the third uh, third grade symptoms which means that um, this uh, has been like checked but it hasn't been proved yet and uh, but the when uh, like this medicine was you know proved on uh, patient it has a cured patient so it can't be neglected and that's why these third grade medicines are you know never to be neglected and these are the medicine in the normal pond then we have completed this uh, oh sorry there is cross reference and similars you know in Kent repertory there is a cross reference and don't know if you can hear this but uh, there are dogs barking outside okay so the poor part of philosophical background of Kent has cross reference and similars so in cross reference you will find that there are synonyms you know synonyms means two words which actually means the same thing so you will find that there are synonyms which will like you know for example uh, there could be a, a in, in a rubric there won't be shown any medicine but there will be something in the bracket you know it would show a different rubric and a different page number so you have to go to that different page to un like see all the medicines and there are similars in similars you will find like this rubric will have this uh, medicine but it will also have another rubric in the bracket which means that uh, these two rubri rubrics has uh, lots of medicine and they are like similar in some kind of way so you have to check both of them and do this uh, reference for yourself 
so this is the philosophical background of Ken now we will go to the plan and construction of Ken's repertory so this is like a simple uh, just there are only three parts okay there are only three parts in plan of construction of Ken's repertory first is the arrangement of chapter second is arrangement of rubrics and finally there's grade of medicine I have already told you what grade of medicine is like everybody actually knows anyway the arrangement of chapter you will find that there are like 37 I don't know there are 37 36 around this number of chapters uh, I just know that it start with mind and ends in generalities in generalities you will find you know nerve symptoms uh, aggravation amelioration you know hunger uh, like thing, desires you know generals but also arrangement of rubrics is also important because this uh, just because like it's not like chapters are not in a uh, alphabetical order but rubrics are you'll find that all the rubrics are in alphabetical order and you know uh, some rubrics are you know uh, some rubrics are you know present in different chapters as you can see this is a neck this neck covers this uh, chest this uh, like posterior part like back you know so when you go to this uh, Ken's repertory you will find that this neck is also present in chest and back these are the two uh, chapters uh, you will find the symptoms of next you know the rubrics for this next on both chest and there should be a neck also there is I don't think there is a neck but anyway there is a throat so there would be chest throat and the neck so I hope this helps uh, as it is written here there are 648 medicines in a uh, Ken's repertory so I hope that helps and the last one is like grade of medicine that I have already told about uh, tell, told you so uh, in grade of medicine you will find that okay everybody knows about grade of medicine so I don't have to tell anything so anyway uh, it's 7.30 so 7 minutes is a long time so I hope nobody got bored thank you for watching